Hello, doers. At Stealthy Woods Warehouse these days, things aren't moving as efficiently as they should. Our employees are wasting time and walking in circles trying to find products for orders. It's a mess. Let's fix that by picking the perfect picking method, a strategy to swiftly select and gather items from the stock to fulfill orders efficiently. Using Odoo, I can choose between single picking, which is one person per order. This is the default picking method in Odoo databases. Batch picking, which is one person picking multiple orders and sorts the items out in a sorting location. Wave picking, which is one person per zone and cluster picking, which is also one person picking multiple orders, but unlike batch picking, items are sorted into their orders as they are picked. To learn more about that method, refer to our other video about cluster picking. Today's video, however, is about wave picking. For wave picking, consider this example. Three pickers work together on multiple orders. One picker goes to the meats, one to the vegetables, and the last one to the dry food section to get all the goods for that specific category. Then they'll consolidate all the sorted products into individual orders at the sorting or packing zone. Wave picking requires less traveling through the warehouse, but orders still do need to be organized once all the products have been brought to the packing zone. Seems simple enough though, right? Okay, well, enough of this chit chat. Time to jump into our database to show you how easy it is to set up wave picking with Odoo. To use wave picking, let's go to the configuration subheading and click on settings. Under the operations section here, we wanna make sure that batch transfers and wave transfers are enabled. Awesome. Next, let's head down to our warehouse section here where we wanna make sure that our storage locations and multi-step routes are enabled. Perfect. If you're enabling these features for the first time, don't forget to head over to the left corner of the page and select save. But now with all of our features locked and loaded, let's adjust our warehouse's workflow by going to configuration and selecting warehouses. Then from here, we're gonna go ahead and select on our stealthy wood warehouse. And here on the warehouse detail form, I'll make sure that the outgoing shipment section here is set to three step. Now let's see how wave picking works by creating a sales order. To do that, we're gonna go to the sales application and click on new. We're gonna go ahead and set the customer to Abigail Peterson here. She wants to buy a lot of groceries. So down on the product line, let's go ahead and click catalog here. To get five of each of the products here, I'm gonna go ahead and click add on the carrots box and just manually change the quantity to five in the quantity field. I'll do the same for the other grocery items off screen just to save us some time. Boom, editing magic. Now I'll click back to the quotation and here I see that all the products have been added to the order lines. And I also see that it's really expensive to buy groceries nowadays. Yikes. Well, either way, I'm going to go ahead and select confirm here because expensive or not, Abigail still got to eat, you know? Next, let's create wave transfers in the inventory app. From here, we're going to go to the pick card, select these three dots on the icon and select operations. Here we can see the itemized list of products from different sales orders. From the from column, we can see where each product is stored. Since we want to create waves based on where these products are located, let's group by location. To do that, I'm going to click the down arrow in the search bar up at the top and select location in the group by section. It's important to note that in order to create a wave transfer, all items must have the same operation type. For example, you can't group pick operations together with pack operations, so be sure to keep that in mind. Now, to create a wave containing all our dairy products, I'll click on the drop down here for dairy and reveal the nested list. Then I'll select all the check boxes stored with the dairy location and click add to wave. In the pop up, I'm going to select add a new wave transfer and I'll go ahead and add myself as the responsibly. And we'll go ahead and hit confirm. Notice the batch transfer column has been updated to show all the products that have been put in the same wave transfer. Now we just need to put all of our meat in a separate wave and assign another user as the responsible. The vegetables and the produce location will go in the last wave and will be handled by our main man, Steve. I'm going to take care of those off screen again to save us some time, but I'll be using the same process you just saw. So don't worry, Odoers, not missing out on anything. Okay, with the wave transfers created, it's time to process them. To do that, let's go to the operations submenu here and select on wave transfers. 
This is going to reveal a list of all the wave transfers we need to do. To see only my wave transfers, we can go ahead and select the down arrow in the search bar and add the filter My Transfers. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's assigned to me by clicking on it. From here, we can check on the Detailed Operations tab to see where all the products are stored, which happens to be the dairy location. So let's go ahead and validate this transfer. And while I was carrying all my things to the backing zone here, indicated in the two column, I also saw Steve and Jose with all their items coming from their zone. What's up guys? Great, that means they're done. So I'll go ahead and validate their orders here as well. To do that, I'll first click back onto wave transfers here, remove the my transfers filter at the top, and then I can go ahead and click on their orders here as well. Select validate. And validate once again. Awesome. It's time to start the sorting and packing step. For that, let's go back to the inventory app's main dashboard by clicking the overview subheading. From here, I'll select the two to process in our pack card, which is step two of our three step delivery process. Then it's time to sort all the products we just gathered into these two orders. So let's go ahead and click onto one of these pack transfers. As a packer, we just saw a bunch of products show up to the source location, the packing zone. I'll take the items into the product tab pile and fulfill the order. And finally, all I'd have to do is go ahead and validate this order. And there you have it, folks. That's how you handle wave pickings in Odoo. I told you it was simple. The rest of this flow closely resembles Odoo's three-step delivery workflow, which we cover in this other video. So be sure to check that out if you'd like to see how this ends. That's all for now though. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.